Welcome to Qigong practice. Let's get started. Veronica and I are going to lead you through the eight brocades. There's eight movement patterns of Qigong that is going to allow that Qi to flow freely through our body. If you missed the last episode, don't worry about it. You can check it out later. We're going to go through all of these movements. Today, we're going to focus on numbers three and number four. Ready to get started? Ready? Awesome. Let's begin with a gentle warm up. Horse stance. I want to remind you to modify your movements so it's comfortable for your body. Watch Veronica if you want to see some cues on how to modify and be more gentle with your body. In the horse stance, make sure that you're grounded. You want to feel rooted, feel the springiness in your legs. If you go down too low, you're going to feel the burn. If you stay upright too much, you're disconnected from the earth. So springy legs, spine is upright, shoulders relaxed. Let's start. Turning side to side. Gently, we're loosening up our low back and spine, our hips, shoulders, and remember it's important to gently tap your kidneys in the back because that's where our chi is stored. The chi that is stored like in a battery. Throughout our whole life, we want to stimulate those kidneys so we can move that chi throughout today's practice. A few more times, nice and easy. All right, that's good. Let's bring our feet together and our knees together. We're gonna to come down and warm up the knees just lightly with your hands. And now we're gonna support our knees on the outside. Avoid pushing down on your kneecaps. And rotate the knees around. We wanna lubricate the knee joints, loosen them up. And again, watch Veronica, other direction. If you wanna modify, notice how she's just doing smaller movements and that's okay. Great. So this first movement, number three, is called separating heaven and earth. Have your feet underneath your hips. I want to remind you that the way you're doing it today is just fine. Done is better than perfect. So do your best. We'll give you some cues and show you how you can optimize these patterns for your own body. As we move through these movements, I want you to visualize and feel that chi, that energy and life force flowing through your body. Relax, relax, and relax. Ready to get started? Awesome, me too. You're gonna ground yourself by just standing here. The difference between being grounded is this and that, disconnected. So just sink down into your feet. Separate heaven and earth. Breathe in through the nose as you raise your left hand to the heavens or the sky as your right hand or palm goes down. Body is still, hold the breath, and then release. Breathe out through the mouth. Turn your palms towards each other, forming that Tai Chi ball, the energy ball. Don't let them touch, they slightly pass, and then right hand goes up. Smooth, fluid movement all the way to the top. Finish your in-breath and hold. Relaxing the muscles, relaxing your frame more and more, and then release. Out through the mouth, slowly. Turn the palms towards each other. Notice that energetic connection here. And again, left side, breathe in. We're gonna have a look at Veronica. Point a few things out. She's got her palm facing directly up. Right palm is down, and then breathe out. Notice her hand turns over, and the other palm is facing each other. She's creating this energy field, this powerful ball energy field. It's compressing and then switching to the other side. Great job, Veronica. All the way up, breathe in, reach, and hold. You ever see Iron Man, the force coming out? It's just pushing that energy down and out. That's what we want to use our mind to visualize. Again, in just a moment, other side, I'm going to catch up here. Breathe in. All the way up. A little bit more this time. And hold. Allow your rib cage to expand. Softly. Out. You may start to notice a shift 
in your stress levels. You're feeling more relaxed maybe. Keep it up. Other side. This particular movement pattern is really good for the spleen and the stomach. Last time. Breathe out. By doing this, if you had a big greasy meal, a lot of spicy food, bring the hands back down. This is a good way to just boost the digestive tract. You've got it. You're doing great. I like the tempo. Let's move on to number four. This is called Wise Owl Looks Over Shoulder. Horse dance. Get rooted. Hands on your hips. I want to say that there's two things to focus on. Number one is we're going to turn our waist first and then our head. The idea is we want to relax these muscles in our neck. There's chi that flows from the bottom of our foot, the side of our foot comes all the way up through the neck. There's literally a bottleneck of energy that can happen if we don't relax. So as we turn our head, not only are you going to relax these muscles, imagine all the cells and all the tissues here expanding so the bottleneck goes away and the chi can flow to the brain, nourish the brain, and come back down. That's the idea. Horse stance. Remember to get rooted. Spine is upright. Shoulders relaxed. First time to the left. Here we go. Turn to the left as you breathe in. Waist first and then the head. Go all the way. Hold it for just a moment or two. And softly breathe out. Back to center. Finish your out breath right at the center and just past center, begin your in breath. Other side, waist and then head. The shoulder might creep up, just let that come back down. Breathe out. Other side, breathing in, notice the waist is going first and then the head. Veronica's modifying. I'm just gonna ask, can you turn your waist a little bit more? Perfect. And then softly breathe out. Notice the shoulders and the arms are lined up with the hip. So the hip goes, so does the arms and upper extremities. Other side, turn the waist a little bit more and then the head just a little bit more. I'm keeping in mind that Veronica is modifying. Other side, good. Couple more times. Breathe in, turn your waist as far as you can go. Relax the shoulders, turn the head a little more. Relax, hold, and breathe out. You may feel some stiffness or tightness in your neck, maybe a little bit of popping as well. That's pretty common and normal. If there's pain that's associated with this, hold, breathe out then you know, get it checked out. Pain that comes and goes, we say is not normal, it's just common. So see your local chiropractor, work with physical therapy to get that addressed. But if you have pain, we're gonna pause here for a moment. If you have pain turning here and it's not going away, seek professional help. But if there's a little bit of pain, you can just come off a little bit. So I'm going here, ah, there's a little bit of pain, just back off a little so that you can do the practice. Work within the limits of your own body and then expand from there. I'd like to go through this one more time. Ready? Horse stance. This is going to be our best time. Breathe in as you turn to the left. Waist and then head. Shoulders relaxed. Hold, hold, and out. Good job. Turn, last time, to the right. Relax, relax. Softly breathe out. Okay, these two movement patterns are relatively simple. There's a saying that I really like that I want to bring up now and that saying is it's not what you do, it's how you do it. If you're a beginner you might do this more powerfully than someone who's been doing it over and over because the person who's been doing it over and over is really trying to get it right. But if you just listen to your body and you're gentle, you'll get it. So how you do it is just as important as what we're doing. Continue to pay attention, follow the basic structure of the movements, but the in, this is an internal game. And I just wanna remind you and invite you to take that on. So we've gotten through number three and four. 
What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go through all eight so you have this series to begin practicing. Done is better than perfect. So we're just gonna get it done and we'll work on perfecting or refining it over time. Number one, feet together. You're gonna get grounded. We're gonna get grounded by standing here. I could be upright or I can just sink my hips down. I can just stand and let, imagine all of your bones stacking on top of each other. So just stack your bones, your spine, your femur, your shin, your ankle. Good. Number one of eight, lifting heaven or lifting sky. Breathe in as you float your hands up to the sky, all the way up. Finish your in-breath at the top and hold as you gaze upwards. Softly, breathe out. Pay attention to the sensation in your hands. This is a really powerful one. If you pay attention, you'll really feel that chi. Again, breathe in all the way up. I wanna point out a couple of things with Veronica. She's gonna go up to the top, and even though she's still at the end point, the chi is flowing freely through her body. So we're still, the chi flows, and then out, and that chi comes up and out, out. Feel that chi flowing out through the palm. Great job, Veronica. And we're gonna complete here, that's number one. Moving on to number two. Go ahead and get started. Stepping out into horse dance. This one is called the hunter draws the bow and arrow to hunt the eagle or hunt whatever you like to hunt. Maybe it's just target practice, but the hunter draws the bow and arrow. We're gonna go ahead and cross our arms. Take a big breath in, draw that string back. Aim to your left, make that L shape. When you get the maximum tension, release. Softly breathe out as you bring your hands down. Bring them down, don't rush it. Prepare for the other side. Cross your arms, stay rooted. We're gonna slow it down even more. Oh, hold on, wait for me, Veronica. I'm gonna catch up and hold. She's just gonna get more out of it because she's been holding, circulating that chi and that's fine. Ow! Bring both hands down. Good. One more time, both sides. Prepare. Breathe in as you draw it back, all the way back. Hold as you expand the chest, your shoulder blades are touching, and out as you slowly bring the palms down. One more time. Maintain your root, your upright posture. Draw that string back. Draw it back, good. Hold it. Out. Bring it down. All right. We're moving and grooving. Let's bring the feet back underneath our hips. I want to give you one tip here. When we hold the breath at the top, there's a tendency to, to release like this. Right? The, all the, as we expand the lungs, the air is in the lungs. It just wants to go out like a balloon. Right? We need to be responsible for controlling that exhale. And it, and it looks like this. It's in all the way. Instead of like that, it's going to be like this. In. You get the difference? Yeah? So soft on the exhale. It wants to push itself out. We're controlling our chi. We're controlling our breath. Separating heaven and earth. Left hand comes up. Breathe in, 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 all the way up. Hold. Now remember what I said about the exhale. Control that exhale so it doesn't all just push out. Breathe. Ah. Turn those palms towards each other. Feel that chi for that Tai Chi or Qi Gong ball. Other side. In, 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 reach. Hold as we nourish the spleen and stomach. Softly breathe out. I'm noticing my whole being is shifting. Very relaxed, and I hope you are too. Keep the work, keep it up. Avoid speeding up. Hold. And out. Control that breath. 
smooth movements. You're doing great. Last time, go ahead, Veronica. Smooth, smooth, smooth. Separate heaven, separate earth. And ow, she turns the ball, starts to form that Tai Chi field, that energy field. It's compressing, compressing, compressing. Beautiful, we'll bring the hands down. Excellent. Horse dance, we're gonna move into Wise Owl looks over shoulder. We're gonna do it once in each direction. Turn to the left. Breathe in. What do we start with? The waist and then the head. Bring those shoulders down. Hold. Breathe out. All right. These should be getting easier and easier with each repetition. Keep it up. Holding, relaxing, and out. Ah, very good. I, I talk about how relaxing it is, but it's also a bit of work. So I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a little, you know, get a little sweaty here. So sweating is normal and it's just fine. So just give me a moment here and we're gonna continue. Deep in your horse stance, hands on your hips. We get to be dragons now. Dragon drinks from the river. Listen to your body, it can be a little uncomfortable in your hips, so don't go too far. Watch Veronica as she modifies. Here we go. Dragon drinks from the river, come on down. Have a nice little drink and come on up. We're gonna go down to the left first. Shift your weight to your left as you straighten your right hip. Come on down, shift your weight to the other side and come on up, back to center. One more time, we're gonna go down, hinge at the waist, come on up. We're gonna go to the right and down. Shift weight, come on up, back to center. Next episode, we're gonna go in more depth around what's going on here and add the breath work. Okay, so we're gonna bring our feet back underneath our hips. Nourish kidneys. Breath in as we float the hands up, all the way up. Hold and out. Let's bring that energy down, feel that ball. There's a ball here and you're just pushing that ball down. It wants to float up, but we're just gently using the weight of our hands to bring it down. Breathe in, bring your hands to your kidneys. Breathe out, charging those kidneys down the back of the legs. Nice, gentle stretch here. Oh, that feels good. Slowly come on up. I like to add a little wiggle, wiggle. Just feels good on the spine, that's optional. Last time, in, float those palms up, all the way up to the sky. Reach, and out. Remember to control that out breath. Feel that chi in your hands. Good. Breathe in to the kidneys, down the back of the legs. Excellent. Veronica is modifying. Thank you for doing that. And then we'll slowly come on up. On the last one, we float our hands up to shoulder height and out. Right back down. Beautiful. Horse stance. This is the energizing one. It's called wide eyes to amass power. What's gonna happen is we're gonna have our hands here at elbow position, fists. There'll be a big breath in, and that breath is gonna drive our fists forward, whoo, out, with an exhale through, through the mouth. There might be vocalization or it's just an exhale. It's up to you. You ready? We're gonna bring the power. Big breath in, hold it, out, nice. Breathe in with your left hand, bring your right fist back, and slow out, push that fist forward. Good, in, out, push it out, excellent. Last two, big power, big breath in, hold it, <laughs> nice. Breath in, Veronica takes the lead, <laughs> nice job, excellent. Finally, we're gonna shake it out. It's called uh, shake illness from the body. 
up onto your toes, I'm gonna go in slow motion. Up onto your toes, and out. In, out, in, out. Go ahead and go with your own rhythm. Veronica's going up and down. Even though her heels are not coming off the ground, that the forces are going down into the heels, and it's bouncing that chi up the spine to the top of the head. In through the nose, out through the mouth. In on the way up, out on the way down. I'll join you a few more times. Catch up here, oh, there we go. You can go on your own pace, but it's always fun to follow Veronica. She's following me all the time, so I follow her right now. A few more times. Last time. Ah, good. Shake it up a little bit, shake it out. Feeling good? I'm feeling good. Whew, I'm feeling really good. All right, here we go. It's time to relax and focus. Spine upright, horse stance, shoulders relaxed, form your Tai Chi ball. This is where we get to reap the reward. This is the fun part. You get to feel that Chi flowing in your palms. So, you wanna relax your shoulders, have the center of each palm facing each other, and engage in the sensation and the forces between your palms. I'm gonna to turn to Veronica, give her a few pointers, but when I'm talking to Veronica, I'm also talking to you, right? So what I'd like you to do is really relax those fingers. Relax, yeah, see how it's a lot softer now? That's going to allow the chi to flow more freely. Let's bring those palms closer together, right there, and then from there, just go in and out. In and out, let's do smaller ball first because for some of our viewers at home, this might be new to them. So we wanna start with a smaller ball until you start to feel it, right? There it is, now go and do what you're doing and palpate your own Tai Chi energy ball. This is a very personal experience. Once you've got it, once you've got like, ooh, I'm feeling something here, what is that? Now we get to cultivate that. Explore the boundary of where and when you feel it. So like right here, perhaps you're feeling it and you go out here, not so much. So you come back and you find the boundary. And when I say we palpate our energy ball, palpation is seeing or feeling with the hands what the eyes cannot see. So I just want you to close your eyes for a moment and just feel that beautiful energy sensation that we call chi. This chi is an energy that animates all life. It's quite beautiful. And we know that our, um, our health is directly proportional to this chi flow, that flow of the chi moving freely. So we're gonna pause here for a moment and I'm gonna ask, Veronica's in the zone, maybe I shouldn't have her pause, but you're feeling it, good. We're gonna do an exercise. Now, if you have a partner, this is an opportunity to bring your partner into this and maybe your part, the person who's with you wasn't following along and that's fine. Ask a friend to you know, hop up off the couch and, and join us here for a moment. And uh, if you don't have a partner now, do this with someone uh, later on. So we're gonna have our partner turn to face each other. We always like to have that etiquette. All right, very good. This symbolizes peace. Um, anyone can hit anyone, but not anyone just knows how to cover this and have self-control. So this is what we do in martial arts when we work together. Horse dance, please. Go ahead and form your chi ball. And we wanna make sure that our wrist is below our navel, not up here. We wanna avoid those 90 degree angles. Notice as my hand comes down, that chi, that energy can flow more easily, less obstructed. All right, so you have partner A, partner B. Partner A is just gonna hold their ball. And partner B, I'm gonna be the one moving. I'm gonna bring my ball around like this. I can bring it around her hands. And what Veronica is doing is feeling when my hands get closer to her and farther apart. And so am I. Where it gets really interesting is when we bring the ball here. Inside of their ball, that energy really magnifies. Wow, this is incredible. Uh, my favorite thing is to bring the ball close to the other person's hand. And do you notice when your hands get closer together by yourself or with a partner, how that sensation feels? Oftentimes people will say, it feels like a magnet, a pushing and a pulling. Very good. Your turn, Veronica. I'm just gonna sit here and she's going to palpate my energy ball. And sometimes how do we know our energy unless we contrast it with someone else's? So I invite you to take this on and, and share this exercise with a friend. It's very powerful and it'll remove all doubt 
about chi. Like, is it real? Is it this? Is it that? Working with a partner is a game changer. Yeah, see, I can feel that. And the other thing you can do is close your eyes and you can notice when the person is there and when they're not just by that sensation. Beautiful, wow. All right, well, we're going to uh, take that energy. Thank you, Veronica. Make sure you etiquette your partner if you were just working with a partner. And uh, now that that energy is flowing in our body, let's put it back in our body. So go ahead and take your hands, just um, nourish yourself. If you've got an old injury, this is a good time to just put that energized chi right in there. Oh, that feels good. And so we can complete today's practice. The energy is just flowing. We want to ground it or anchor it by bringing our hands just underneath our navel. If you want to get specific, males will put their left hand over and females will put their right hand over. Okay, so left hand for males and then cover like this. According to traditional Chinese medicine, the left side of the body is more yang, yin and yang. And the right side of the body is more yin, the feminine, the masculine. And so this is a way to just nourish and be powerful. Imagine a lake. The water is just settling right here in your energetic center. And as always, you can anchor it right here in the heart center. That completes our practice for today. Next episode, we're gonna focus on Qigong movements number five and six. Great work today, great work today. Thank you, it's always a pleasure working with you. Bye for now.